What's up everybody, Renfail here, back again with some more Dragon's Dogma 2, and today we're diving into where can I find the Magic Archer Unlock NPC. Um, this got asked on TikTok a couple of times and on my guide to my uh, Magic Archer build, which is the class that I played for the first time and currently is in New Game Plus. So we're going to go through that. We're going to go through the two ways that you can get to the Magic Archer. It's fairly deep into the first playthrough. Um, if you take your time and just follow you know, exploration and you just do it at your own pace, it could be 50, 60 hours before you actually get to the Magic Archer. Um, if you do it normally, you can get there around level 25, which kind of just depends on your play style. It was around, I'm uh, just ballparking here, 23, 24 hours into the game for me. Um, I, it's probably time stamped in the guide I did, so I don't remember exactly, uh, but it was early 20s, early to mid 20s in terms of when, because the back way, in to the magic archer is level 25 plus mobs so unless you're level 25 you're not getting through because you're not going to be able to run through uh, i tried it on stream uh, <laughs> like three or four times in a row i tried to just run it and it's not possible but i do want to show you where he is we'll talk about the back way and the front way um, right now we do have the map open behind me the, the big sort of world map but we're going to go down and hyper focus on one area so what you're looking for is actually way down in Batal. So we're not going to be looking up here in the Human Kingdom. We're going down to the um, Beastrin Kingdom. And again, you don't get here until fairly late into the game. You have to go through certain quests before you can get here. Unless you just want to go off the beaten path and try to make your way down here on your own. But, I mean, all the mobs down here in the back way in anyway are level 25. And it's all higher level stuff to get down here anyway so really what you're looking for is the city of back Patel. if you follow the main storylines of the game you will eventually end up having a mission that sends you to back Patel. <clears throat> and from here there are two ways to where you need to get so essentially where we want to get is this island over here um which is where it's the volcanic island and what we're looking for is way down here and this little area right here, I'm going to go ahead and mark this with a waypoint so you can see it. And then we're going to zoom back out. So the number one right here this is what I'm going to look at. And I'm actually going to do this because that way we can have a thumbnail for this. Um, so we're pointing to the waypoint. But that number one right there is the waypoint that we're looking for in terms of the NPC. Now, if you do it according to the storyline, at some point the main story is going to open up this path right through here which is this uh, northern path to the volcanic island. Um, but that happens as part of the main quest, and it's very deep into the game. Um, so if you don't want to wait on that, at level 25, you can set out from Back Patel, and you can head southwest down this path all the way down to this cave right here. This is the cave you're looking for, Drabnir's Grotto. Now this is going to take you from this point over to this point, which is also... Drabnir's Grotto. So from these two points, um, you're going to be traveling through a cave system, and this is all like 25 plus mobs. And it's quite a, a bit of a journey. This is the part I tried to run, and I just kept failing over and over. Um, so when you get here, there's a campsite, and you can hard save, and then you can go through the caves. As soon as you come through the caves on the other side, you're going to meet the dwarf. And he's going to have you do a series of quests for him. I'm not going to go into this series of quests here because that's another video in its entirety. But this is where you'll find him is right here. I'm going to put another marker. Or this is at least where he was for me. Number two on the map. As soon as you come out of Drabner's cave, um, Drabner's grotto cave, he's going to be right there in the path. Um, you're going to gather some flowers for him. Then he's going to lead you down another campsite. And then he's going to lead you up here to where his wife lives. Um, and then, um, and by the way, this is, um, I think my waypoint, there we go. Windwalker's home is what you're looking for in, in Batal, um, in the land of the Beastron. So um, this is where you can find the Magic Archer NPC. Essentially, you're going to be doing a series of quests down here for them. And once you finish up the quest, which leads to an escort quest, with, which leads you quite a ways down the road, and there's a lot of combat involved, when you get to the end of that is when you get the Magic Archer archer so that's how you can um get there you can either wait for the main storyline and make your way across the northern section and then down through the volcanic island camp over here or you can come in and go in early around level 25 
um, and go your way uh, down through Drabnir's Grotto. If you want to take this route, I would not recommend doing it less than level 25. I'm sure there are, you know, hardcore enthusiasts of the game who are like, oh, I'm going to do it at level 10, and maybe they do, and that's good on them for people who want to take on those challenges. I wouldn't recommend this uh, unless you are level 25. It's a pretty fun journey. Um, it's definitely worth the effort. I think the night that I did that, it was, you know, I was fighting my way down. I mean, it took me a couple hours um, to get down through the grotto. And then once you get to the other side, it was another, I think, around an hour-ish to do the unlocks. So it was a bit of questing to get it done, but um, totally worth it. The Magic Archer is an awesome vocation. I definitely love it. We can take a look at my character right here, actually. Because why not? Um, I'm in New Game Plus mode. This is the current armor I'm wearing. Um, this is the bow I've got, which is just, this is the stuff I came over from, uh, the first game with. Um, now my main pawn on the other hand is decked out in at the very least a helm from the new game plus mode, which was, uh, really cool. It's probably in the main game too. I think it's just level based, but he's got new gear, but the new gear is really, really expensive. Anyway, that's it. I don't want to bore you anymore. Daily streams here and on Twitch, lots of Dragon's Dogma 2 guides and playthroughs. So check the playlist below. I'll see you in discord. I'll see you on the Patreon and until next time, everybody. Stay safe and happy gaming.